Hey guys, welcome. In this video, we're going to complete the following ANOVA table. So what you're told is the total sums of square is sum of squares is 62. The mean square for within is 2, and you have to fill in the other cells with the correct values. So now we have three groups because k equals 3 means three groups, and then n equals 8 means 8 participants per group. So this means that altogether we have n times k individuals, meaning 24 individuals which means with respect to the grand mean or the grand average, we have 23 degrees of freedom. In other words, n k minus 1 is the number of degrees of freedom overall. So we put a 23 here for total degrees of freedom. Now, and the fact is this. If you have 8 participants to a group, then you have 7 degrees of freedom per group, and you multiply this by 3, which is the number of groups, and of course you can't see that, right? So it's 7 degrees of freedom per group, Okay, about the group average, and then you will multiply this by the number of groups, so that will give you 21 degrees of freedom for within, which means for between the groups, you have 2 degrees of freedom. In other words, k minus 1, it goes into this cell, and in this cell you place n minus 1 times k in general. So this value here is n minus 1 times k, this value is basically k minus 1. Alright, now this is what we know next. If the mean square for within is 2 and we have 21 degrees of freedom, then x over 21 must be equal to 2, therefore x equals when you multiply 21 by 2 you find that to be 42. So this entry is 42. Now, <clears throat> because sum of squares can be added, that means that this total is 62 and this is 42, you subtract 42 from 62, and that will give you the entry to go in here. So let's do that inside here. We have 62 minus 42. So 2 minus 2 is 0. 6 minus 4, of course, is 2. Therefore, this is 20. Okay, so we have 20 as the sum of squares for between. We have 42 for within and 62 total. Now, if this is 2 degrees of freedom and the sum of squares is 20, that means the mean square, the variability, so to speak, per degree of freedom, because that is what we are finding with the mean square, is 10. And therefore the f ratio, which is between, over, within, the mean square is, right, it's a comparison of variability, so to speak, or it's a comparison of variability per degree of freedom. You have 10 divided by 2, which is 5, so that's your f ratio. Okay. And now you can conduct a test of high significance simply by comparing this to a table of known F ratio values and then of course using the correct number of degrees of freedom in the numerator and denominator. So thank you for watching and have a magnificent and adventurous day. <laughs>